I got a lot more stuff to keep watching for Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, I still got, uh, I don't know, probably three or four hours of stuff. And I don't have the game yet. That might change soon. But I don't have the game yet. So I still want to watch more of the stuff. Who are the zoners outside of Cetrion? What, what's funny is that I feel like a lot of characters have zoning potential. So certainly Kano does with his mid lasers. That looks good. Uh, I've seen, looks like Liu Kang has zoning options. And even on the, on the combat cast, 16-bit alluded to the fact that Liu Kang's zoning is really good in this game. So I don't, I don't know that there's going to be like the typical, you know, sort of zoner other than Cetrion, but it does seem like lots of characters can zone. And it seems like to me, most characters have both offensive and defensive options, but they're just like hidden in one variation or another. So that if you want to zone, you can definitely do that. Oh boy, this is not looking good right now. Come on, Foxy Grandpa. No, I d personally, see you later, I really don't want to see no chip kills. I, I like chip kills a lot. And and I feel like it's such a, such a Mortal Kombat thing to have chip kills and for everything to chip. It's just like a, it's just like a, such a Mortal Kombat idea since forever. And I feel like that's such a core thing, I wouldn't want to see it changed. Boy, yeah, I, there was no respect from, from me at the end there. Bardock, his claws are too strong. I think that was about it for Foxy Grandpa. Come on, Foxy. Yeah, they do think, look, it's just, it's just such, such a, an established part of Mortal Kombat. When another game like Street Fighter gets rid of chip kills, you know, that's not as jarring because Street Fighter changes a lot from variation, from, from game to game. There's not much in terms of like what is core of Street Fighter, it just changes pretty drastically. But for Mortal Kombat, there are definitely core things. And one of them is chip kill. Like it's just all, normals have always done chip in Mortal Kombat. Like that's just how it's been since the very start. And that's consistent. And it would be weird if they changed it at this point. But I also like it because even though you, you might think, oh, you can kill somebody with chip, that means there's no comebacks. But in reality, the history of NRS games since MK9 is that there have been super hype comebacks and it's not even as rare as you might think. Maybe part of why that's hype is that you know that, oh man, if they take any hit, they're dead, no matter, even if they block a jump in, like the, they'll take chip and die from anything. That's like a hype kind of feeling and seeing somebody dance around that is really impressive. So while comebacks are still possible, maybe they're not like as, they're not as common certainly as, as some other games. I like that. that I like, I like that combos, that uh, comebacks are like a little bit more valuable. That's my opinion, personally. Dude, pe people who are, who think breakaway is too good, like, so I did breakaway here. Right, was, was very soon after this. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is 52 seconds on the clock, it's 7 minutes and 20 se 29 seconds in the video. And I won't have it for the next how many real-time seconds? We'll see, because I think it's a long time. I don't even have one bar yet, it's been 15 seconds. Now, longer than that, almost 20 seconds I have a bar left, a bar back. I mean, this takes forever, you, you have, you're spending such, uh, you, you can punish that. It's such a risk to do breakaway, man. Okay, so now, more than 30 seconds later, 33 seconds later, I finally got both bars back. That takes, that's forever. That's forever. It's a round and a half later. I, I, I legit, I think about that every time I'm looking forward to a new game. I think about how before The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time came out, I was reading Nintendo Powers about it. And I just could not wait. I was, I was, it was, I was insatiable, you know? I needed that game to come out. And while I was waiting for it, I was probably 13 at the time, something around that age. And while I was waiting for it, I had this thought like, you know, I really want it now and it feels like this is taking forever, but, you know, pretty soon I'll be waiting for the next game too. And that didn't like tide me over at the time. At that young age, I was still really impatient, but I was like, well, in the future, I'll also have this moment. And now, ever since then, honestly, whenever a new game's coming out and I feel like I can't wait, I think, don't you remember when you were 13? And it felt like that would never come, and now that was 22 years ago. So I don't know. Just I, I like 
put it in perspective a little bit, it's just a week. Jump kick from Baraka is so good. And I, I know a lot of people were talking about how strong it is and how you couldn't anti-air him. But that's that's been the case. That complaint, I should say, has been the case for each of the new NRS games since MK9. When, when they first come out, everybody has said that. Oh man, you can't anti-air. It's gonna, you know, people get to jump in for free. Always people have said that. And then you figure out what the true anti-airs are because they're not always what your down two is. That's not always the best anti-air for some characters. Some characters have had very different buttons. Down ones, stand ones, back threes, like weird stuff. And they ended up being super, super good. But you didn't know about that in the first month, so you're complaining. So that's that's how I feel about when jump-ins in this game too. So anyway, for Baraka, his jump kick, I think it's obviously very good. Obviously a very, very good button. Great hitbox on it. However, Uh, you know what I've seen beat it? Is down ones. My Baraka down one beat other Baraka's jump kick. In a bunch of different situations. From far, from close. It seemed really good. So I just feel like that'll that'll happen. Like we'll figure out what the real anti-airs are in, in this game. And we don't know them yet. Like we just we've only had a few days with the game. Who even knows what it's gonna end up like? Maybe they change the hurtbox or hitbox on his jump kick, but it might not even be the same thing. And so once once the game's fully out, we'll see it. We'll see what's up. Dude, that. Oh, I must have been looking. Well, let me see what the combo he used was. I don't know combo roots well enough yet. Okay, so my expectation was definitely that he would do spear. So there you go. Look, I I took this risk on breakaway. Because I think, okay, you're going to do the big combo. Oh man, now not only did I not take damage, but I gave up this bar for the next, what did, what did we say, 15 seconds until you get one bar, 30 plus until you get two bars back? Yeah, that's forever. The risk is so big. Yo, the range on forward 4-4. Four, four. Oh. Let me see this. That hits. This hit. This is about to connect. <laughs> wow. You can actually dash up. Oh, one, two, two. Yep. Oh yeah, I was trying to get a new combo. That's, yeah, I remember that. I remember doing that. I kept trying different things after that. Like you can definitely do one, two, two for the crush and blow, and it pops up. And then you can do forward one, two. His little swipe, swipe. And that's easy, and definitely and super doable. You can finish it in Command Grab, or in Fireball, or whatever whatever you have. But, I kept looking for other stuff. In the corner, or maybe near the corner, you could do Jump Punch. Like, Jump 1 and to continue the combo. And, yeah, so anyway, I was trying to Jump Kick, but that didn't seem to work. Yeah, Paul, you could, the Command Grab is a high. Yeah, yeah, you can, duck it, you can definitely duck it. Neutral duck, but yeah. But that is... That's, I feel like that's why he has that back too, that overhead that looks graphically so similar to the command grab. So no, Paul, I don't know the difference in startup and I'd wonder the same thing, if you can option select between blocking the physical hit or ducking the command grab. I, I don't know. It certainly seems like a possibility, but I'm not sure. But I mean, I think, I think the, the bigger issue is that you have to expect that they're coming because they're pretty fast. I mean, the overhead is, you know what, the overhead's slower. I, I think the overhead is slower. Just just having watched it. You know, I don't know the frames, of course. They might have been in here, but I had never looked. But just, well, yeah, two, these, these are the last two things, let's see. Look at the overhead. Versus the command grab. The command grab looks faster, don't you think? So maybe you could do neutral duck, then late block. Late stand block against the overhead. But, you know, the, the better thing is that some characters, at least, can do... They can low-profile both of them with hits. Like, I've seen people... Well, we've already seen it, this guy do it, for sure. Do crouching... Crouch, down four or down three underneath the command grab and underneath the overhead. I've seen both. Galak, I'm, I'm looking forward to Garrus the most. I'm looking for Kano and Kotal second and third. Not really sure of order. And then probably Collector after that. And Cetrion. Those are the characters I'm most interested in. Exactly right, yeah. I like I like playing both a grappler and a zoner. Like in Injustice 2, I played the characters I played the most were Bane and Swamp Thing. 
which were Bane is the dedicated command grab up close character. Swamp Thing is the command grab, but has good mid range blitzies character. And then as a zoner, I played Doctor Fate. So those those are the three that I played the most. I mean, Cetrion seems like a weirdo. It, it, again, though, this this really depends to me on what the competitive variations are going to be. If Garrus doesn't have one of his weird tools, then I'm not going to play Garrus in competitive play. I'm just you know I'll play somebody else. If Who was the so oh, well, we'll see. But if the if so if Garrus doesn't have the cool stuff, then I won't play him. I feel kind of the same way about Cetrion. Some of her ideas looked very interesting. Like the tornado thing I thought looked cool. The field with rocks going around, and if the opponent hits you, then one of the rocks comes and hits them. I think that's pretty sick. Like the But if that stuff's not in the competitive variation, I don't know that I'll care. I'll have to try, but We'll see. And that's why I think that I'll probably be I'll probably be more satisfied with Kano or Kotal. It's my expectation, but I, you know, we'll see. Final round. Fight. Yeah, you see what I mean? Like he like Bardock's Bardock's beams are super good. Like I'm I'll take this trade, yeah. Like I feel like this is a reasonable trade. I mean, I should be I should be flawless blocking. Okay, there you go. I hope we keep doing this. I hope this goes down. To the I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> I was definitely supporting just continuing to do it. It's so cool that in this game they seem to have given so many characters both offensive and defensive well zoning options. Everybody has defensive wake up options too. Like it's it's they managed to make the characters unique in terms of gameplay and at the same time have most of them be like reasonably well-rounded like there's no perfect character obviously but you know this pr uh, Bardock is definitely a pressure mid-range to pressure character and he has this good zoning tool and it's the same way with all the others oh you could have killed for sure even Garrus even Garrus has those little um I don't remember what they're called. The little sand explosion things that you can place, right? It's like Atrocitus Blood Puddle, but it's you have to actually place them. Even he has something like that. So it just it feels like every character's got like all these different tools. Which is super cool. I like it. Thanks for the subscription as well. Nicely done. You want you wanna you wanna call them sandstorms? The rude sandstorms? Alright. <laughs> you do choose the distance of the rude sandstorms, yeah. Yeah, yeah, close Darud Sandstorm, far Darud Sandstorm, medium Darud Sandstorm, yes. And in his other stuff, in his other variations, he has, um, you know, even better zoning and counter zoning options. I Like, Garrus is not going to be played as a zoner, right? But he has these tools that at least make you think that he has some far range option that you have to respect. It's not going to zone you out, but it's... It's like Atrocitus Blood Puddle, where he's not a zoner, but like you have to always respect his option to all of a sudden do something full screen. Even if he wants to be more of a mid-range slash pressure character. Oh. Oh no. Sheik Yemen, no. Man, Baraka's command grab is so easy to tick off of normals. So easy. So in other games when you try to do a tick grab what you do is a little button then you have recovered and then you do the command grab so you're not like canceling a stand jab into a command grab with the you know few exceptions like birdie hopping command grab like that's really rare but for the most part you are waiting before the command grab in mk it's not like that it's you can cancel a button directly into the grab I mean, of course, you can wait, too, if you want, but there's no need to do that. You can just do button cancel directly into command grab. That only works with certain buttons, though. And for Baraka, a lot of his buttons do it. You know, it's very it's very common, and he's no different, for down one, down three, and down four to all cancel into command grab and connect. That works. But also some, a bunch of standing buttons. Stand one into command grab. Stand one, one into command grab. Forward two, one. Or forward one, two? What's that string? Or whatever it is into command grab, but not the first hit. Only the second hit can cancel into command grab and, and will actually grab, uh, not the first. If you cancel the first one into the command grab, it will whiff. They haven't recovered in time. Uh, his back three, the little low starter I've been doing a lot, you cancel that into command grab, that's a tick grab. So he has, dude, he has so many, so many tick grab options, it's crazy. 
Zoners are dummies, man. What a jerk. I hope I, I hope I just start doing Bardock beams, right? Oh, with punish, please. You know what? I think I. I'm not sure I remember this moment, but there were definitely moments where I was like, I should whiff punish, but I don't know if the string's over yet. I don't know what your options are enough yet. That might have been one of those. You can definitely crouch command grab. Yes. Well, now I can't do anything because he's got fatal blow stocked. You gotta go in though. Beam him. Yeah, just beam him, dude. He, does, he hates zoning. Beam him. That's what I'm talking. You see me wait first? That's what I'm talking about. That's some good beaming. So now he has Fatal Blow and I can't do anything. This situation came up so much against Cabal players. If I do anything, if he's a good player, he's just waiting for me to do something. He, he doesn't have the life lead, but he can freeze me for 30 seconds. Super long. Because if I throw a projectile, what in the world was any of that? Ugh, oh, this is a gross one. Oh, get him! Go! Oh, it's so bad! Oh my, that was gross. Gross end. What did he do at the end here? Fatal blow. I tried to fatal blow. Wow. The worst. Ooh. Could have done some cool stuff. He did not. Dang, all of that pizzazz that he was doing. So let's see. So how much damage was this thing he did? This is a ton. 329. What's a little punch, punch, punch into this? It's only 40 less. Dude, shout outs to Bardock. Oh, please. That's what I'm talking about. Chad is all, yeah, I mean, look, I, I agree that Cabal was the best character in the beta, and I think I think almost everybody that I talk with agrees with on that. That seems uncontroversial. What I am not concerned about is that he'll be too good in the full game. Oh, oh, what the worst punish again? All right, because <laughs> they they just have done a, such a better job in the last two games of making balanced stuff and then not changing it constantly. In like basically since MKXL and on. They have done a great job of that. Like, there's only a few instances of them radically changing any characters, or even needing to. And even when it came to, like, Deadshot probably got changed the most in Injustice 2. Well, he may have been the best. Round one, fight. Um, I'm not sure he was. And it was more like he was boring to watch and play against. I feel like that was the bigger reason that he got nerfed, rather than that he was actually, like, OP in any sense. I didn't think he was OP, you know. So, I, I, I'm not... Worried about Cabal in this game. Ooh, he happened to meter burn it right then. That was cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Don't don't be too concerned. In, in, in my view. And even if he does launch and he's like as good as he was in the beta. You know. There's there's going to be tears. And if he's too good, then they'll change it. Like, it's... I think it's not that big of a problem. Dang, he just burned both of his defensive bars, yo. So one, one thing that's funky is that all of those... All the seeming like movement cancels Fight. are defensive meter that's spent rather than offensive meter. Oh, but he built it so fast. Oh, okay. So I, all right, wow, that's super fast. I had known that when you do breakaway, it takes longer to recover, but look how fast that dude is recovering his defensive meter, jeez. So he spent it, spent it. Okay, so there are three minutes, 35 minutes, 43 on my little video clock here. See when he gets it back. Round two. Fight. Ten seconds. Ten seconds it comes back as opposed to I want to now I don't remember. Fifteen seconds of breakaway timing comeback? It was really big and different. Oh wait, there's a launch event going on right now? Right now? No, I don't know about it. What's going on? Is there a stream for this event? I just went to twitch.tv slash netherrealm and didn't see anything. UK game launch event, dang. All right, stream it. Yeah, I'll, I'll restream it, sure. If that's cool, I don't know. Is that cool? We'll do it anyway. I was gonna I was gonna bring up this. Oop, wrong one. Yeah, 
I was gonna I was gonna talk about this. I mean, we'll talk about it on Ultra Chen Tuesday show tonight. But I was definitely gonna do that too. And you know, look at this. That's cool. Uh, let's see if I can find the right tab here. Um, aha, here it is. 